Okay, just to quickly go through the answers then, for the first video clip, you watched a little clip from EastEnders. Um, Tanya first slaps Max, um, so she's made physical contact with him. There's no actual injuries shown from a slap, so obviously contact is made, hear the noise, he's obviously hurt, but there's no actual physical injury there as such. So we would go with the offensive battery for that first one. That would then go to the magistrate's court and the maximum you can go to prison for that offence is six months. Also in the same clip, Tanya throws a drink on Jane. Now some of you might not think that's an offence, however it is. Throwing a drink on someone because contact is made, that's enough. Because again, you don't need any actual injuries. And that could also be a battery offence. So that's also a six months imprisonment charge and it's dealt with in the magistrate's court. Moving on to the video clip two. That was a little clip from Coronation Street. And you see a little uh, scuffle in the shop takeaway. Uh, Gemma pushes Clayton at one point. She also bites him. Now you might think that's okay uh, and in court she would probably be able to say it was self-defense however she does push him and she does bite him so there's not again actual injuries shown so you could possibly go down the battery route again um magistrate's court would deal with that and the six months is the maximum she could get now like i said because of the incident where he was threatening her he wanted money that could possibly, she could possibly be let off and not go to prison at all. But the courts do raise it and it is questioned. Clayton to Kylie then. Um, so Kylie confronts him. They get into a bit of an argument, scuffle. He then stabs her with a knife. Now the video is, um, it shows that she's bleeding. So because the injury is blood you would go down the GBH route. Now, because GBH is split into two, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. However, it's very subjective. So what you think and what the person next to you thinks, what your friend thinks might be completely different. So the difference between the two sections is if you think he did not want to cause serious harm to her, he only wanted to cause some harm to her, maybe just to get her off, then you could go down the section 20 charge. If you think, nope, he used the knife, he definitely wanted to cause serious harm, then you would go down the section 18 route. So the difference is absolutely massive with the sentencing. If you go down the section 20 for what he's done, he can go to prison for a maximum of five years and it can be dealt with either in the magistrates or crown court. For the section 18, it will only get dealt with in the Crown Court because it's a serious offence and the maximum he can go to prison for that is life. Moving on to the final video clip, three, that was also a clip from EastEnders. Phil is arguing with Ian. Um, he is verbally exchanging some insults to him. Ian does look scared if you look at his facial expressions. So when somebody is caused fear, physical contact is not needed at all. That is an assault. Assaults get dealt with in the magistrate's court. And the maximum you can go to prison for that is six months. Okay, so the cases which we got you to research are cases that we do use for this topic of non-fatal offences. So that's the area um, that we are still looking at. Now, the first case of Ireland from 1997, um, the facts are something along the lines of, now you might not have the exact facts, some might be slightly different um, based on where you got your information from, but something along the lines of silent phone calls being made to a person can cause them to become scared, which can also be an assault. Second case was Thomas from 1985, and in this case, it was a caretaker who touched a girl's skirt. 
and he was charged with the offence of battery because contact was made even though he's not actually touched her body. So touching clothes can become an offence. The third case was Roberts. In Roberts, um, she was in a car. The driver tried to make contact with her. So he tried to sexually touch her. She jumped out of the car and injured herself. So she got concussion, she got cuts and bruises. And he was charged with actual bodily harm because if he never tried to touch her, she wouldn't have jumped out of the car in the first place. So that's a bit of a complicated case that we use for something called causation. Uh, and we will look at that in a bit more detail. The final case was Belfon. In this, he slashed the victim in the face and chest using a razor. Because he's caused bleeding, he's caused wounding, um, he's obviously caused a serious injury to the victim. You would say it's GBH. The fact that he's used a weapon and the fact that he's obviously wanting to cause serious harm because he's using this razor, uh, you would go down the Section 18 route.